recently while pondering over my life and spiritual status. An agonizing reappraisal overwhelmed me as I juxtaposed my life with the Lord's wish for a people worthy of being gathered to his Zion. Thoughts began to flow into my mind like a small stream below the mountains where snowmelt becomes a torrent. My thoughts were filled with feelings of empathy and sadness for those for whom that gathering remains off their personal spiritual radar. They wait for the Lord to come, rather than understanding that it is the Lord who waits for us to become through a process of agonizing reappraisal. I longed for the day when the Master walks among us. I wondered at the vision of it. It took my breath away in a joyful moment of grace. My vision turned to those who would come from the sky with him with joy of their own. The long-awaited meeting had finally come with those below whose hearts had turned to the fathers and the promises made to them. All desired the associated grafting into the family of God. Joseph Smith had barely reintroduced the concept and then was murdered by those who wanted something else. And the heartbreak continues, unrecognized by the institution. My feelings were strong even as knowledge increased. Watching the Savior move about among his children in Zion, my heart swelled with gratitude for his patience with me. Seeing him look my way and smile as he said my name was almost too much to bear. I thought for the briefest millisecond that I had caused him pain, but then I could not remember why. His loving, forgiving gaze told me why I could not remember, and I fell to my knees in the acclamation of love I was still learning to fully understand. I marveled that the very air around him worshipped him and was joyful to be near him. All the while he only desired to serve in his continuing effort to teach and raise up his children. His desire was not to be raised up on a chief seat of aggrandizement. His raising up was to suffer inconceivably and die for the likes of us. Can you imagine it? My tears flow like the snow melt in the stream below the mountains. I marvel at what I know. I marvel at what he allows me to see. Acknowledgement of my debt is never ending, and I am grateful to be grateful. As I contemplated all I had experienced in those brief moments of understanding, I began to write some impressions. Most of all, I wanted to live long enough to see it all take place. Then the following happened so quickly, I was astonished. I'd like to last until every tear runs dry, until every fear is quenched in love, every grudge melted, every pain salved, every soul made whole in his image. I'd like to last until we are equal, because we value him and his love more than the things of this world and the honors of men. There are no poor among us. There is no envy. All I have is his, not because I will it, but because it is. I do all I can to be like him, because I want to rise up and meet him. I want to see him as he is. I am his child. I am born of his wounds. I am saved by his wondrous love. I am comforted by his spirit. I am astonished at his attention. I love being a child, not childish, innocent, seeing with untarnished, believing eyes. No iron in my neck, no brass on my brow. He has healed my wounds, and there are left no scars no residue. Lessons learned and wisdom without enmity. Forgiveness overwhelms and cleanses. I want to go up the mountain. I want to kiss returning necks at last in joy. I want to be his. I want to be worthy 
to live in his light and glory. And you ask me, well, will I follow a man? Has he saving power? I follow Jesus. Him only do I serve. Him only do I follow. I fall into his arms and adore him. Oh, will I believe Christ? Will I cast the core of my character in his mold of forgiveness? Will I love freely? Will I rise to meet him? Oh, may I? Please? We face a challenge to become something very rare, godly, even holy. The path to Zion is perplexing. How people were able to lay aside all envy, strife, ambition, selfishness, and enmity between one another? Yet that is exactly what we are asked to do. I cannot keep the covenant. You cannot keep the covenant. Only we can keep the covenant.